welcome back to Chef Robin's Corner. Uh, it's been a long time. I haven't been back in this corner for a long time. So we have, today we have Carl Perkins here, the social worker that can help you all make changes in your life. Come on up here, Carl, and say hello to everybody. Hi, I'm Carl. It's uh, good to be here at uh, Robin's Corner, Chef Robin's Corner today. And, We've been enjoyed. We've been out. We went out uh, yeah. hunting uh, mushrooms, and we had a wonderful time today out in the forest, foraging for morels. And uh, we just had a wonderful time. We foraged for some some greens that Robin's going to tell you guys about. So I'll let Robin get back with but first it. First of all, I want, them, I want you to tell them a little bit about your story and how you got involved in plant-based eating. Well, I just uh, I just kept gaining weight. I uh, I got into social work. I used to be a carpenter, and uh, I used to be able to eat anything I want, and I didn't have to worry about gaining weight. And then as I got into uh, more studying and, and sitting around reading a lot and so forth, I began to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And uh, I always felt like ah, something, like I, I didn't know if maybe I was having a heart problems or what. And then I, uh, I started learning about these people that are involved in the, the plant-based, uh, kind of the plant-based message. And so uh, I just started reading about it and studying about it, and I just, the science convinced me that it was the smartest thing for me to do. So I have quit at this point. I don't need anything with a mother or a face. Great. And uh, I just enjoy eating plants. I'm plant powered now. Now, how much did you lose altogether? I lost about 65, maybe 70. I was 240. And how tall are you? I'm uh, six foot. Six foot? Yeah, maybe a little bit less than that now. To pull on it down. Yeah, so I weigh one seventy four now. Great. Yeah. Okay, so we'll go. We'll go on. Thank you, Carl. And now for our soup. A few minutes of foraging in the forest and in the garden. You want to always use a little bag that the spores can fall through. Oh, I found some. Oh, look, I found three. Come here, Carl. Come over here and look. Here, I'll let you pick these. Oh. Are you all right? Yep. Well, it's kind of rough here. It's That's... easy to fall down. All right, so you need a knife? Yes. So just cut those little babies. Put them in the bag. Just drop them in that little bag. Mushroom hunting, morel hunting. Those are some nice ones too. Oh, isn't that amazing? Yep. Three, three in a little group. Okay, we're on to making morel soup. Okay, so we've got time here for the soup. This is from last year's. It's coming up. It's a perennial, and this is a red wild thyme here, and this one is a English thyme, and it's coming up too. So we'll have we'll pick some of this to put in this this. Um, cream of morel soup. Okay, here we have chickweed. Chickweed grows everywhere. One of the things George Washington Carver says is nobody in America should starve with all the food we have out, out in the woods. And it's all out in the woods, but it's just particularly thick here. Now, this is hen bit. You don't want the hen bit. This is the chickweed right here. And so we'll just start picking that because it's a very mild green. It's great for a salad. It's great to throw in soups. And of course, any of your wild greens are going to be even more nutrient dense in many cases than your cultivated greens. It's a very mild, delicate green. It's not a cruciferous. Well, I'm picking here a nice little uh, spring, tender spring dandelion. And dandelion is a great prebiotic, meaning it really it feeds your good gut bacteria. And so out here, there are just so many wonderful, fresh little green things to eat in the garden in the spring. It's just it's one of my favorite times of year for all these tasty, tasty little morsels. And we'll put some of these greens in the cream of morel soup. So it'll be very nutrient dense. So now we have morel. These are the morel mushrooms. The real little ones I kept small because they're going to shrink about half in size. 
So what we're going to make is we're going to make a wonderful cashew cream of morel soup. And asparagus too. It's gonna, there's gonna, these are all springtime. This is the springtime morels, the springtime asparagus. These are wild greens that we picked out in the woods and out about. And some walnuts to go along with the cashews because yes. they harvest walnuts in the Missouri Ozark. Region. So we will be doing walnuts with this as well. So we cashew walnuts. So here are the ingredients that are going to go into the soup. And um, Farmer Mark, you can also show them that I'm cooking some some broth there, which uh, I'm making some stock for the soup. So, so what, what we've got over here is just we're making a stock and it's just got some onions. These are organic onions so the peels are really good for making a nice rich stock too. There's bay leaf in there. I've got some pieces of sage. I've got uh, some the ends of the asparagus and so I'm just going to simmer that and that'll just be a more flavor for our soup. Okay so here's what I have. This is what's going to go into this wonderful soup. Of course, the morels, which retail for around $70 a pound, but we just go pick them outside. Uh, springtime asparagus. I'm gonna put some of this, we have chickweed, uh, we have dandelion greens, right here, which is also a prebiotic, helps feed your good bacteria. And uh, then we have, I think we have some curly dock in here, we may yeah. have we have some fennel, and we may have some bitter cress. Is that in there? A little bit. A little bit, uh, which is kind of it's very bitter. It's, it's a wild edible. And here we have wild gar elephant garlic that's gone wild, gone rogue on us. And so it just comes back every year. And so I've cut up the elephant garlic and fennel. See the fennel? And then we have some carrots. We have some garlic. And we have some onions nutmeg, and pepper. So these are the ingredients that we're going to use in this and just a touch of olive oil. I don't really use oil very often, but just to release the wonderful toasty fragrance of the garlic, I'm going to use maybe a couple of teaspoons of olive I'm just oil. just going to put this. a tad of olive oil in there. Just about that much right there. And I'm going to dump this, all of this wonderful garlic in here. And we're just going to But that, we're just going to release the flavor. That's all we're going to do. We're not going to really brown this because it's a soup. We're just going to release the flavor. So I'm going to get that going. The, fragr the, the fragrance yeah, of this garlic awesome. is amazing. It almost smells a little like saffron, I've always thought. But now I'm going to dump these morels in here. And we're just going to saute them a little bit. I'm going to add just a splash of some dry marsala wine to it, and then we're going to cover it and let it kind of steam a little bit. Okay, another thing I forgot to tell you about is I have some navy beans here that I'm going to put in here. That's going to give us our protein, a lot of our protein. And I've got three bay leaves in there, and I'm going to dump all of that right in into this, this blender. And then I'm going to do the onion because the onion, we want to chop the onion up very fine by blending it. We're releasing all these sulfur, anti-cancer sulfur compounds. And so we want to get, and also the food flavors the soup very nicely as well. So that's all that we're going to do in this. And then we'll do this and we'll kind of set this aside. Now let's look and see how our mushrooms are doing. Oh, doesn't that look nice? Oh my gosh, they smell good. Mm. Wow. So now I'm going to go ahead and put the asparagus in there. And a few of these greens. And that's fresh, raw yes. asparagus, which is coming up this time of year yes. if you have a garden. Or it can be harvested out in the wild sometimes. All around old farmsteads, fence lines, you will find asparagus. Cover, cover this again. And I need to tear it separately to get them because they would, could, would it would take too long. And they're still a little bit crisp. So, anyway, so now it's time to really make the soup because this stuff is cooked enough. So we're going to go ahead and turn this off right now. Add the greens and let them wilt in this hot mixture. 
Right now I'm pulling out some of these mushrooms because we're going to blend the mushrooms. And dried mushrooms are also very nice to blend because they give it a really strong mushroomy flavor. But I'm doing a few of these morels, so I'm going to blend these with a cashew mixture. That's going to make our creamy, creamy sauce. I'm going to pour, this is just the, the right now it's just the uh, navy beans and the onion. And a little bit of water. And a little bit of water. And now we're going to really make more, so we're going to have more, you know, a creamier soup at this point. But it's looking pretty good, isn't it? Now I have two cups here with the mushrooms. The, what I have here is one and a half cups of soaked, just overnight soaked cashew pieces, raw cashew pieces. That's going to give us our cream. And so now I'm going to blend all of this. We got the walnuts. Oh yes, we have to do some walnuts in here. I'm eating walnuts right now. This is one half cup of walnuts. Blend this really well and we're going to blend it with some nutmeg. And we're going to blend it with about half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Nutmeg's pretty strong. Actually in this is two cups of the, the vegetable stock. And, uh, and then we've got the, I fished out probably about, oh, half a cup of mushrooms out of there to blend. And then the cashew nuts and the walnuts and the nutmeg. It smells very good. So here's our cream. Look at that nice thick cream. That's what makes this soup so good. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? Look at this soup. That is a cream soup. That would rival any wild European wild mushroom soup. And if I needed to thin it, I can just add some more stock. Looks like milk. It does, doesn't it? That's what it's supposed to look like. Okay. And now I've got this on a very low burner. Extremely low because you never want to boil this soup. It will curdle. It will break. And so to keep this nice creamy consistency, I just have it on very low just to keep it warm until we serve I'm it. I'm some fresh pepper into it. So you see this is really a relatively simple soup. And it's very, very elegant. This would be a very elegant dinner party soup for a first course. And nice little cream soup bowls. And you just put as much pepper as you want to put in there. Okay. Oh, doesn't this look good? Dishing this up. This could also be used as a nice pasta sauce. That'll making it a little thicker. Mmm, mmm, mmm. you look at this? Those chunks of morel mushrooms in there. The asparagus, tender crisp. And then we will garnish it. This has got a little fennel, the little garlic greens. And then we will top this with some little toast points. There you have it. Okay, you're being filmed now. So bon appetit. Thank you, Chef Robin. Thank you, Chef Robin. You're welcome. Mmm, that's fantastic. That is straight out of the Ozarks right there. Mmm. Nobody's speaking much. Delicious. Incredibly Now, Mark, delicious. will you hold up my little book so that I can tell people about the little book as well? This is a book that I've written. I wrote it because I couldn't find anybody else had written a plant-based gut restoration healing the second brain book. So I've had a lot of experience with that because of my own very severe GI issues. And then I've helped a lot of other people. So I went ahead and wrote a book which uh, has everything that I've learned in the past 15 years 
about healing the gut. And I would not be alive today had I not learned what I have learned. So I have this little book, and I'm going to make it available uh, very soon for $7 a book. So if anybody wants it, it, is, uh, it has the latest cutting-edge science, and it has how-to. So thank you all for coming to Chef Robin's Corner today and watching this video on how to make this, this wonderful Ozark, actually but very fancy, morel soup. And it's oh so tasty good.